Hello, welcome to Sunday Morning Builds. This week it is Easter, today is actually Easter Sunday, and so I thought we would do an Easter theme, and I have here set number 40463, Easter Bunny. This set comes with 293 pieces. Uh, you can see the Valentine Bear there, and it's also a similar setup to the Halloween Owl, which I have just over here. Here is the Halloween Owl. And so what I like about these sets is this base base plate that they use, and often there's a bit of a, what we call Easter eggs, no pun intended, um, an Easter egg in the base plate of some nature. So it'll be interesting what they do in this base plate here, which is not featured in any of the imagery. So it is a surprise. It does look like that uh, the bunny ears will move. <laughs> depicted by these arrows um, and I'm expecting it to maybe take about 20 minutes with just under 300 pieces but we'll see uh, it will be a speed build as always uh, then we'll come back and do the review if you like this content please like and subscribe um, that would be greatly appreciated but um, otherwise it's time to get into this and then I will see you on the other side of the speed build for the review. after the speed build for the review of set number 40463 Easter Bunny. Here we have it. It's a pretty uh, good looking set with a few uh, little surprises I wasn't expecting. Um, now I did mention about the Easter egg, um, which is a common term used to um, uh, describe uh, hidden features that you get when you're um, uh, searching through whatever the object happens to be that you weren't expecting to be there. And so with this item, the hidden Easter egg is actually, if I can take these off in without pulling too much apart, in the base, if you saw it and it didn't move on too quickly in the speed build, you would have noticed that it was a carrot. And I, I do like these, the Easter eggs that they put into these type of sets with this base because it also doubles as a point of contact for these base plates to then stick down onto so um, it doesn't sink too much. Uh, if, you, if you're pushing on it, there's no reason to do that. But anyway, so there we have it, the carrot that sits at the, in the base plate of the Easter Bunny set. So now let me see if I can put these back on. So that was the first thing with this set that I wanted to highlight. The other things that surprised me was how many moving pieces there were uh, to the bunny. Now we knew from the from the box art that the ears would move and yes they do. They move out and back. So they move as expected, which is great. But the head also moves. Wasn't expecting that. I didn't pick that up from, from the box. Didn't pick up on that from the box, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, pretty easy to, to make happen. So that's good but also the legs move. So I guess you could, if you took the tail off, I wonder if this will work. If you took the tail off. Oh, no, it's still not gonna sit there. There we are. What about that? There we are. Can you see that? <laughs> Sitting up. 
Um, yeah, so there's quite a number of moving parts here. And if we take this off, you can see it used a ball joint there to create that, that moving feature. Put the tail back on. So there we have it. The Easter Bunny with quite a number of moving parts. It's a fairly plain looking rabbit, but then the pink nose and ears uh, does make it stand out a little bit more. This took a, this was a 30 minute build. Um, and most of that was really uh, the two parts. You had the head and the body. The body being the largest part with the most small, small pieces, I guess, uh, did take up most of the time. The head took up a little bit of time just because it has a lot of small, small pieces. Uh, and that's where the time was most spent in building this. But uh, all in all, a very enjoyable piece to build. Highly recommended in Australia. It retails for $24. Um, and you'll still be able to get them, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they became really popular just before Easter as, a, as an Easter gift. So, but if you can get your hands on one, certainly a good one to build and play around with. And that will add to the Halloween owl that I've got, which is there. And I also think I have the, the um, Valentine bear. I think I've got that one. I'm just not sure if I've built it or not. So these sets with these larger bases they're bit they're very much like brick heads um except they're animals although there is the range of um brick head pets uh, i think they're very similar builds to those with a little bit more character build around them because of the theme but anyway so there we are happy easter everyone i hope you enjoyed that build please if you like this content like and subscribe so next week probably get back into some more brick sketches we'll see we'll just see what happens It'll be a surprise to us all including myself what we end up doing all right i hope you can join me so for now i hope you have a, an enjoyable and safe easter bye for now